Pregnancy is measured using gestational age. Gestational age starts on the first day of one's last menstrual period, since it is difficult to tell the exact day of conception. At one or two weeks pregnant, an individual has not yet conceived. Ovulation occurs starting in week three of pregnancy. If a sperm fertilizes the egg, then pregnancy occurs. At three weeks of pregnancy, the sperm and egg have joined in the fallopian tubes. The fertilized egg is now known as a zygote. As the cells within the zygote start dividing, it becomes a mass known as a morula. About four days after fertilization, the morula enters the uterus and develops into a blastocyst. The inner cells of the blastocyst will develop into the baby and the outer layer will develop into the yolk sac and placenta. By the end of the week, the blastocyst will start to implant into the uterine lining. This process, called implantation, is successful 25 to 50% of the time. At four weeks of pregnancy, the blastocyst has embedded in the uterine lining. The blastocyst cells form layers that are developing into the embryo, yolk sac, and the future amniotic sac and placenta. The yolk sac will temporarily nourish the embryo until the placenta develops. Despite the yolk sac's name, human yolk sacs contain no yolk. At five weeks of pregnancy, the embryo has three layers of cells that will form its different structures and organs. The endoderm, or inner layer, develops into the respiratory and digestive systems. The mesoderm, or middle layer, develops into the circulatory, skeletal, and muscular systems. The ectoderm, or outer layer, develops into the nervous system and skin. At six weeks, the yolk sac starts shrinking as the placenta nourishes the embryo. The umbilical cord provides nutrients and oxygen. Facial features are becoming more apparent, like optic vessels that will become eyes and the upper and lower jaws. The embryo has small arm and leg buds and development of the heart is underway. At seven weeks, the yolk sac continues shrinking. The umbilical cord steadily carries nutrients and oxygen-rich blood to the embryo. The embryo's facial features become more apparent as the eyes, nostrils, mouth, and ears develop. The eye lenses start forming and color appears in the irises. Development of the pulmonary system, heart, and limbs is also ongoing. At eight weeks, the embryonic tail is visible. As the gastrointestinal system develops, the intestines move temporarily into the umbilical cord for more space to grow. The embryo starts twitching and moving its limbs uncontrollably. Its wrists, knees, elbows, fingers, and toes are distinct and noticeable. The embryo appears to have its eyes open until its eyelids develop. At nine weeks, the embryo starts to appear more distinctly human. Facial features continue developing, and the fingers and toes are clearly separated digits. The digestive system has formed and continues to grow, specifically the intestines, pancreas, bile ducts, gallbladder, and anus. Sexual differentiation starts with the internal reproductive organs. At 10 weeks, the embryo's head now contains the major brain structures. The brain grows and expands as it produces 250,000 new neurons each minute. Bone starts replacing skeletal cartilage. As the kidneys start working, the amniotic fluid now includes urine. External genitals of female and male embryos are forming but remain structurally identical. At 11 weeks, the baby is considered a fetus rather than an embryo. Now that the early embryonic organ systems have developed, they will continue to grow and differentiate. Red blood cells begin forming in the liver. Sexual differentiation is ongoing, as is ossification, which is the process of bone development. The eyelids begin fusing shut. At 12 weeks, the fetal brain continues to grow and expand. The eyes are widely separated and the body is elongating. As the limbs lengthen, they will gradually become more proportional to the body. Fingernails start developing. The fetus swallows amniotic fluid. Fetal waste products exit the amniotic fluid by passing across the placental membrane.